Do you want to know how to cut out a turtleneck dress or top without cutting the turtleneck separately? And yet it's going to have a bustier princess that shape with queen on nine peplon. Then you have to watch this video to the end. I'm Jackie Cetro and today you're welcome to Cetro Craft channel. And have you tried out Tom's Brown Pudding? It's good for children that are living breast milk and also good at swallow. So you can also be part of the sponsors of our program. Let's get started. It's as easy as A and B and C. Cutting out our total neck, uh, top or dress is as easy as A and B and C. We are starting with this pattern. So I have this line drilled out. I just left, this is my origin. I left two and a half inches before the origin. Then my bust point, yes, is 10 inches. Then my under burst is 14 inches and the half length position. So let's just remove the bust point. This is the under burst and this is the what? Half length. So right now we're got, just gonna start by seeing what's our shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement we're gonna be using is uh, 15. Then the bust is 38. The underburst is 31 inches and the half length is 34 inches. So please use whatever measurement that is yours or your clients or your customers. So that shoulder divided by two is gonna give us seven and a half inch. Seven and a half inch. And I'm gonna add half inch stitching lines. So that's eight inches. Then by this eight inches, we're gonna come down by, if you don't know how to achieve this perfectly, I have a video to that. My round palm hole. How to achieve this? I'm going to come down by eight inches. Also, achieving your palm hole. I will not really expatiate on this. I have a video on this channel to this effect. So I'm going to leave the leaf just by the side, as you're seeing. Please do watch it. It's very very easy achieving your palm hole. It's very, very easy. That's just what I'm doing right away. Just achieving the pump. You're going to see it in that video. Just watch it. It's about how many minutes. And it's pretty easy. So I'll just get the midpoint. This midpoint is a line of 4 inch. So I'm going to go in on this midpoint by 3 quarter inch. I'm already explaining it, but I know if you're a beginner, please watch that. But if you are not a beginner, I know you know how to achieve this. So I just achieve this. So achieving a handful right now, we're done. This is not your, this, right now we now want to start cutting out the top to neck, posterior and all the legs. So what's the first thing you do? You say, what is your nipple to nipple measurements? And our nipple to nipple measurement that we're going to be using is what? It's 8 inches. 8 inches divided by 2 is going to give us 4 inch. So I'll, I'll get the 4 inch equidistant point across both lines. So on the first line and on the what? On the first line and on the athlete position, like this. Then I'll roll it out. It's so, so easy. We want to cut out our posterior shape, princess that posterior shape, and having our total neck cut out with the dress without cutting out the total neck separately. It's so, so easy. So having this right now, I'll, what will I do? I'll just come down to this on the burst point, and I'll go in by two inches. This place is optional. You can go in by one inch or two inch. It all depends on how prominent you want the bust to be. If you want the bust to really shoot out, so you can go in by two inch. But if you don't want it to really shoot out, you can go in by one inch. So this point right now, I'm going to connect it. But first, this point, you see, we're curving it. I'll connect this point just like your normal princess that method. I'll connect it to this half point, half length position. Achieving our princess that points, bustier points. So you connect this nipple to nipple point to the arm half point, midpoint of the arm hole area like this. This I'm using my pattern master. So you connect from the midpoint of the bustier to the midpoint of the arm hole using 
a pattern master or any curve tool like this. And remember, we've already taken two inches away because we want the bust point to actually be accentuated, to actually be accentuated. So we're going to connect it just like so. So connecting to your two inches point on the other bust location like this. So just connect like so. Then you roll this two inches down to the up length position like so. With this, the bust point will actually be protruded. And another thing we want to do right now, to make it really, really pronounced, you're going to come to this point and you're going to come to this point on the up length position. You come down by one and a half inches. like so and then you connect this will really make this first point come out and you extend by one and a half inch from this midpoint position this will help you when you're stitching together you extend by one and a half inch so make sure that this point is really curvy So with this, you can see you've achieved your princess that's curve shape in using like a bustier method and it's going to come out pretty good. So we we'll join the other parts. So you just take your horizontal dimensions. I've told you that the first uh, measurement is 38 divided by 4 is going to give us 9 and a half. So you just take your nine and a half inches like so. So let's do our calculations together. Remember that we removed two inches across, but I'm going to have to be adding all that we removed two inches. Then we're going to add one inch for stitching. So that means to we'll be adding three inches stitching or seam allowance. So we come back down to this under crossed position. I told you it's 31, 31 divided by four. It was seven three quarters, seven and a half, seven three quarter here. Then I'm going to add three inches stitching, uh, three inches allowance, just like I did to the first point. So I use the three inches here. Then I come to the underburst location. This is 34 divided by two, divided by four, don't mind me. 34 divided by four, give us eight and a half. Please, if you're not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, please. So, just like so. So we connect this point that we have right now. Remember it here. We connect just like accordingly. These are horizontal dimensions. So, having connected like so, do what do we do? You with this, you try to extend this. Because by the time you're doing this, your bustier shape princess that you just try to extend this, your what's it called? Try to do a curve here such that this place is extended. You extend this your hammer position, you could extend this your hammer position, or you could extend it from here. Anywhere you want to extend it is welcome. So I could just extend from here so that there is no harm. Later, you are still going to get your hand all positions correctly. So you just extend it like so. By the time you're through joining, you get your hand all position correctly. Then what we focus on right now, we now want to achieve a real total neck. So we come to the neckline position. So before we go to this neckline position, please give this video a thumbs up if it has been helpful to you. And let me have your questions. Whatever is your challenge, just send it in the comment section below. Ask me your questions and let's get to go together. So give us thumbs up to encourage us to do more. Please and please, you see the image by the side. So achieving the total neck now, the secret is so easy. You just come here, you'll be using uh, the neckline width. If you're just like a moderate neck like me, the neckline width will be using it three inches. Remember, you create this two and a half inches or two inches uh, allowance before your origin. I'll tell you the reason why we're doing that right now. Three inches, and the depth I'll also be using three inches. Three inches depth. 
So we we'll connect, you can use whatever uh, tools you use. So I'm using my pattern master. This is the neckline. Then I'm going to do my one inch shoulder slope. Don't forget you, it's so important. So from this uh, shoulder point measurements, I come down by one inch and I'll just connect to the neckline accordingly like so. Someone said I should stop saying like so. What do you, what do you think about it? <laughs> So, having it this way right now, achieving your turtle neck is so, so pretty easy. What you just do is that on this neckline point right now, you extend this line of this neckline point. What are we trying to do? We are trying to do the turtle neck with our dress together, not cutting the turtle neck separately. So, I've extended this line right now. That means we are achieving our turtle neck together with the fabric. We are not going to cut the turtle neck separately. So we're achieving it with the dress or with the top. So having extended this this way, so I'll come up by, on this uh, depth of my neckline, I'm gonna go up by one inch. And here also, I'm gonna go up by one inch. So this will form my new neckline. So I'll achieve, I'll just connect like so. This is now forming my new neckline. So remember, this is the old neckline. This is the top to neck neckline. So how will you connect to your shoulder points? So you just take half inch from this shoulder point. Look at the neckline. I'll just take half inch away from this neckline points. Remember that our shoulder, uh, our neckline to our shoulder is curvy. So you just try to curve it down. If you have a tool, I don't listen to a tool that can do that curvy effect that I want to do. Right now, uh, using my flexible curve tool, it's needed here. You can use your flexible curve tool here. And if you don't have, you can order from Central Fashion School. I have all these tools in store. So just order. So what are we trying to connect? Remember that our neckline is not straight. So a curvy shape from this uh, neckline of the turtle neck to the shoulder point, like I extended by half inch. So I'll just curve it this way. Then I'll try to achieve it. So just in a curvy way like that. And we've come to this. Can you see right now that with this, you already have your turtle neck with your dress. So this is the, please don't forget, this is the real neckline that you're going to call. So the curvy shape will go like this. It's going to get to this uh, slanty part of the shoulder. Then you cut it this way and just like that. So I'll cut out right now. Then before cutting out, let me cut the back panel. So we're going to have half inch seam allowance to this neckline position and the shoulder points. Just like so. So right now, this is our back panel. Achieving uh, the princess that was there for back panel is as easy as the MDNC. Remember, you just achieve your arm hole. If you don't know how to achieve that, please check my videos on the bodies that I'm leaving below. So we take our normal nipple to nipple, four inches, just like we did for the front panel, four inch. across board on the under bust position as well and on the waistline and we'll connect them together like so so the major difference and after this you connect to the midpoint of the handle but look at what I'm doing I'm not using the curvy part of the bust uh, of this pattern master because there is no bust shape at the back so i want to make it as light as possible can you see what i've done i made sure that it's not as curvy as the front panel so and another thing i'll be doing is that on this half uh, on the bust position you know for the bust shape we wanted it to be prominent we went in by two inches i'm going to go in by quarter inch just quarter inch you could go in by half inch i want to go in by quarter inch because there is no bust 
steer ship at the back. And with this, I'll just connect slightly. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just connecting slightly to this point. Like this. Then I'll connect just straight. Just straight to the alphabet position. Like so. So can you see that the boss shape will not really be prominent as such. So, but we're still going to do that our extension. I'm now going to connect this extension of one and a half inch away from the midpoint. And you make sure it's, by the time you're achieving it, you make sure that it's one and a half inches away to help you while stitching. You do this extension, you see by the time I'll be cutting it. Please, in case you're not yet subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up if it has been helpful to you. I'm trying to do everything, just not having a bustier shape, as in just not having the bust shape at the back. Can you see what I've done? So I'll now go to the horizontal dimensions, just like we did for the front panel. The bust is 34. I'm going to say 34 divided, 38 divided by 4 will give us 9 and a half. So right now we're going to do the mathematics together. For the front panel, we took away 2 inches. So that, that was why we added 2 inches extra. So here we took away only half inch. So I'm going to add quarter inch. So I'm going to add 1 and quarter inch seam allowance or best best. I had 1 and a half inch seam allowance. I hope you understand. Here, I took only quarter inch in this. So I'm adding the quarter inch, then I'm adding one inch seam allowance. So I tried to run it up to one and a half inches seam allowance. So then I come here, 31 divided by four, give us seven three quarter, just like in the front panel. So I'll just add one and a half inch seam allowance. Please ask your questions, but please ask the questions in a nice way. Please, let's try to be polite and nice. So here, you have uh, 34 divided by 4, give us 8 and a half. When you have your 1 and a half inches, let me know what you feel. So, with this, we connect our points, like we did for the first panel. You can see it's as easy as A and B and C. Always very easy, central fashion school. So, and remember I told you, you are to extend this point, just like we did for the front panel. When you're doing places that posterior, it's good you extend just like so, and you just curve it like so. So, just like so. So right now we go to the neckline for the back, just like we did for the front. The width will be same. It's going to be three inches width, but the depth is going to be one inch. So I'll just connect this neckline for the back panel. Like so. Then I'll do my uh, shoulder fold or shoulder slants one inch. I'll connect it like so. Then what do we do right now? Just like we did for the front panel, we're going to extend this line of the neckline position. So extending it right now, we're just going to extend this also like we did for the front panel. This is the total neck for the back. So we'll extend it like we did for the front panel. So it's going to be this way right now. And we're going to extend this also by one inch like we did for the front panel. So, our new neckline position will now be this. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So, with this, remember our, our shoulder slope to the shoulder slant, connecting the neckline to our. Remember, we said it's, it's curvy, so we use that curve 
to our flexible curl too. Just like so. So, we've gotten that. Then you do your half inch extension, as in half inch seam allowance extension. I do that and show you, they will cut out. In our extension, remember that we've added our seam allowance to this other part. And yes, we've added our seam allowance to this other part. So, this is the actual measurement. You could just, but I don't like to do that. I've, I've noted it on the front panel also. I've noted the actual measurement. So I'll cut out right now. You have your front panel like this and it's so important you notch by the time you get to the fabric you notch those points the equidistant points of the underburst and the upland position this will help you while stitching so so important so you come here also those four points must be together you notch then you come here and you notch so this must meet with this and this must meet with this while we're stitching. So this is the front panel, then we cut out the back panel right away. So this back panel, we try to shape, this should not be pointed and it should not have a busting shape, just like so. That's just what I'm trying to achieve. Can you see it? It is not going to have a busting shape at all because there is no bust at the back. So don't forget to do what we did in the front, the coordinates of the underbust position, the bust point and the underbust position. So you notch, you notch, although there is nothing like that at the back box, they have to meet together such that your top portraits can come out perfectly well. So this is the back pattern, this is the front pattern. Right now we're going to go to cutting out of fabric and stitching. Yeah, this is how the dress looks like when I was done with it and I went to my children's Christmas party again. <laughs> okay, please, if you want me to upload the sewing part of this so as to see how I did it, just please give me 1,000 likes on this video. I'm very good. Just 1,000 likes. Then comment is in section below. Comment in the section below. I'd like to recommend these two videos for you. This will guide you on how to achieve your hip and butt padding correctly. What this will guide you on how to achieve your six pieces goddess skirt perfectly. And if you want to a guide on male fashion, then check our video below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, share this video. Thank you very much. Happy Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. And a prosperous new year. Love you. Catch you. Yeah, yeah, yeah.